Today I'm making for you a very unique and special cocktail that I came up with myself called Black Run using the Alpinist Swiss Premium Dry Gin. Right, before I go any further, I'm giving three, one, two, three Grail Jiggers away to three lucky subscribers. All you need to do is leave a comment down below, tell me what you think of the videos, and what more would you like to see on the channel, and I'll be picking three lucky winners on next week's video. So click the bell for notifications to see if you're one of those winners next week. Right, we're gonna get started. It is a shake and strain cocktail, so we're gonna get going with the small shaker. I'm gonna teach you this move real quick, really, really simple. What we're gonna do is you're gonna slide the shaker over and bring it into this position. Then you're gonna push it around your thumb for a thumb roll, and then it's simply a palm spin and you place it on the bar top. So slide, thumb, palm spin, bar top. Right, we're gonna prepare our cocktail in this small shaker, starting off with two cardamom pods. Just pop those in there, and then we're gonna give them a, a bit of a mud or a bit of a squash. But first, you can learn this thumb roll with the muddler. It's gonna push the thumb, the muddler around your thumb, and it's gonna stick to your thumb like this, and then you're gonna grab it into this position like you would grab a pen, exactly. And from another angle, you can see the muddler stays on the thumb. Give those cardamom pods a push and a twist to release all the lovely goodness from them, and now we're onto the gin. But first, I love this sound. Okay, we've got a couple of moves here which we're going to learn with the bottle of gin, the Alpinist gin and the shaker to come to a, a final pour, which will be 50 mils of the Alpinist Swiss Premium Dry Gin. But those moves, first we're doing a switch behind the back, so the bottle flies first and then the tin comes up from back to front. Then we immediately throw the tin back to the other side up in front of us, swipe around with the bottle so the tin just goes up, and then we do a quick flurry with both objects into our 50 mil pour ready for the cocktail. So one more time, let's have a look at that. We're doing a switch behind the back, a back to front with the tin, a swipe through behind the head, bottle flurry to a pour and onto the next step. We need some fresh lemon juice for this cocktail, so get yourself a nice lemon. Chop off the ends, like so. And then you're just gonna chop that lemon in half and you're gonna squeeze out 30 mils of fresh lemon juice and pour that directly into the drink. 15 mils of homemade ginger syrup. If you want to know how I made this, check out my Patreon for more details. 20 mils of fresh apple juice to lengthen the cocktail a little bit. And 8 to 10 leaves of coriander, which will just bring a nice freshness to the cocktail as well. Right, time to give it a good shake. Plenty of ice and shaky shake. You want to make sure you shake it enough to blend all those ingredients together and then you're going to strain, fine strain, so you're going to catch all of those little pieces of coriander and little bits of ice into a nicely chilled, beautiful coupe glass like this. Oh yes. For garnish, I've made a coriander foam. I didn't use a siphon this. This is homemade using kitchen utensils. So if you want to know how I did that, you can go and check out my Patreon where I'll be putting up a tutorial on how I did this. But onto the cocktail, the idea here is Obviously the drink is made using Alpinist gin. And an Alpinist is somebody who climbs peaks and mountains generally in the Alps. So I wanted to try and recreate a little mini Alps on top of the cocktail using this coriander foam. And uh, obviously a little garnish of a coriander sprig on top. So there we go, the Black Run cocktail with its own little mini Alps on top. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're liking the video so far hit the like button now let's get on to talking about the black run cocktail i also wanted the cocktail to enhance the flavors of the alpinist gin let's give it a taste see what it tastes like anyway mm. oh man as soon as you swallow you can feel that spicy kick from the ginger and all the other flavors are just kind of bouncing around inside your mouth so cardamom's not one of my most favorite flavors, but it gives it a nice edge to the cocktail. And the coriander gives it this kind of freshness. The apple juice helps balance it out, helps lengthen the drink a little bit, gives it a kind of tart flavor to it. That's all just accentuated by the gin itself. It's delicious. I can't get enough of it. Before I go, we do have to pick a winner from last week's videos to see who's gonna be taking away one of my Tom's Fly practice bottles. So, the winner is... 
bit short. <laughs> Andreas Fiznider. I hope I pronounced that correctly, Andreas. Please send me a message on Instagram and I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. Good luck to everybody this week for this week's competition. Thank you each and every one of you for leaving a comment every single time, every single week. And uh, I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you like the format of the new video. I'm going to be sticking with this for a little while now so you can learn some cocktails and some flair to go with it at the same time. I'm going to go and finish this. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, see you then. <laughs>